Here we are at the bottom of turn two. Um, Tasty Taste put up a uh, screening unit of Gaz with his awesome flag and a bunch of his big buddies. The Death Company assaulted and bounced. They all got killed. Although Kino barely, 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 actually, barely. They died like they're supposed to. Right. Charging into the into this the enemy. Supposed to be the last battle. <laughs> they're gonna die. They're gonna die by the, the leader. Yeah, well, they did. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm proud of them. <laughs> they, they did their job. So um, Gas, one Meganon died. One Meganon died. Yeah. And then one took a wound, and Gas took two wounds. Yeah. So they they did deal quite a bit of damage to the Hammer Squad, but um, it is now Nick's turn. Yes. Cut. So, let's see, Nick is up two kill points to one. For now. Am I, is that accurate? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see. Um, all those vehicles moved over 12, or over six, so um, they'll be hit on sixes, and we'll see if if uh, taste to taste reserves are a little bit better. <laughs> but um, he looks like he's in a good position so to counterattack. That that charge could have been game uh, game losing if it had worked for Kino. Yeah. It almost did. He had you know, make one field no pain save and he would have had it. Yeah. If he could have kept him tied up in combat, yeah. that would have been really, really big. But go big or go home, right, Kino? Yeah. There he's been the top of <laughs> Yeah. We are at the bottom of turn three. Three. I, I said bottom of turn three last time, so my apologies. A uh, lot of action. Uh, taste, taste, reserves all came on. A uh, truck did not come on. One truck. <laughs> one truck. They're still having uh, cookies and tea. Um, <laughs> Astrop the Grim got charged by 30 boys. Uh, Nick declared his wall, and like a boss of bosses, <laughs> he's still there. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> killed five orcs. He killed, did you take any wounds? No. He's taking one. One. No. Really? Take one, you rolled one, one. Remember you said? Oh, yeah, I take one, one. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. Astrop the Grim is the boss. Uh, Gaz and buddies came up and immobilized the Land Raider, but there's Terminators inside there. Uh, yeah. So I'm sensing the Empire is going to strike back. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then in here we got uh, Mad Dog with Snick Rot and Commandos with all cyborg bodies yeah. and all kinds of craziness. <laughs> they killed all but one uh, Death Company, which is good for them. They can't be shot next turn. And are there still Death Company in that round? No, it's just empty. Okay. Empty. And um, those Assault Marines, their uh, <laughs> box got destroyed <laughs> yeah. by the big mob of orcs. And the Grots doing what they do. Yeah. Sitting on the objective. <laughs> so, uh, Taste Taste only got one kill point in that turn, but he's probably going to pick up, oh, uh, two or three <laughs> in the next combat phase. So we'll check in I'll after Kino retaliates. Maybe his Terminators can, um, well, they need to do something big. Yeah. <laughs> he's drowning in orcs here. Now, I'm really going to keep him in there. Just for, just for the heck of it. Yeah. I don't care about it. Whatever. That's genius. Yeah. Oops. So, we'll play him. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll check back in after Kino retaliates in the uh, top of turn four. So here we are at the bottom of turn four. Yes. Uh, Tasty Taste's taste counterattack. Gaz, the boss, the man himself, actually survived a unit of a priest, a chaplain, and a unit of assault terminators. I think you rolled what? How many five up saves did you roll? Uh, I rolled. Uh, I, need, I rolled. I had to make seven. Yeah. And I. Yeah, I made seven out of. Eight. Not, Seven out of nine, I think. Seven out of nine, five up in one yeah. of the six. Kino, how do you feel about that? Yeah. How do I feel about that? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Uh, more death. More. <laughs> more. More death. So uh, the last, the Lone Ranger, Death Company got killed. Astrath got killed. Those, uh, those are my guys. They're smart. They see what's happening. And they're like, we're out of here. So they're running for the hills. Uh, Nick's, <laughs> Nick's truck boys still need to come on. Yeah. Um, unless Kino has some oh crazy plan God. up his sleeves, oh I envision God. this whole mess okay. coming in here. <laughs> and, um, and bring it. <laughs> the Emperor Spidus is waiting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Kino's got cap and control. Uh, Nick's got his cap and control. No one's got yeah, siege ground yeah. at all. Although that's going to change on the next turn. And it sounds like Nick might be winning on kill points. Right. So here we are at the bottom of turn five, potentially the last turn of the game. Uh, Nick on the far corner, uh, his took out, uh, Gaz survived, and took out all the uh, Terminators, Recluse Yark, and the Priest. Uh, Kino, they died like champions. They did. They did. That's why I was supposed to die. They killed, a bunch of, they killed a bunch of orcs over here. The, um, That's what happens when you put uh, Death Company in Terminator armor. <laughs> it doesn't happen. <laughs> the, uh, My army it does. <laughs> what? What have you been doing, Keto? Oh my god! <laughs> she, they're, it's a, they're, they're painted as Death Company. Yeah. Exactly. So we got the uh, uh, orcs over here, charge the assault squad. They actually held. And um, 
There's a can full of killing orcs right about to happen. Yeah, there's all the uh, there's a death company loaded in that. They've been hanging back here to protect objectives. Yeah, a so in there too. right yeah. now Nick is winning on kill points. They both have a capture and control objective, and uh, Nick also has uh, one seize ground objective. So. Let's see if the game ends. Nick, you went second. Oh, no, no. I went second. So it's his top of turn top of five. So we'll oh, I'm that. sorry. We're going into the top of turn five. Yeah. My, my apologies. Top of five. Half time. So here we are after um, top of turn five. Yes. Kino, um, in a, a, a bold move, uh, went flat out with her, uh, went full speed with his uh, rhino, threw that building like a Kool-Aid man, scared <laughs> the crap out of the Gretchens, and, <laughs> and they ran off the table. Yeah. And so Kino took Nick off his capture and control objective. And then his death company charged out of their rhino trying to save the last two assault squad. We just went through the orcs like a buzzsaw. But on the way out the door, the orcs killed the last two assault squad, meaning they can't take this seize ground objective. So two big plays on both sides of the board. Really, it's going to come down to what Nick does here. He needs to get back on his capture and control objective and hold, uh, kill that uh, land raider and take his uh, seize ground objective, and he'll have the game locked up. So here we are at the, uh, after the bottom of turn six, five, I'm sorry, the bottom of turn five, um, in a very orky move, <laughs> like the Dukes of Hazard, the truck went full steam through the wall, hit the, uh, hit the rhino, and exploded it, pinning the squad inside. <laughs> so that was a, a pretty amazing uh, maneuver there. Uh, over here, all the orcs uh, assaulted the Land Raider and blew it up. It didn't take any orcs with it, unfortunately. Uh, Keen only did one wound with the explosion. Oh uh, well. <laughs> oh well. So uh, the orcs got it uh, pretty much locked up at this point. Kino's just going to try and take as many of the dirty, rotten scoundrels with him as he can. Right, Kino? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, all that's all I got. So here we are after the entire turn six. It was really quick, so we just uh, waited for the whole thing to go. Um, mobilize. The orcs managed to immobilize Kino's right now. So it's still contesting the objective, but not for much longer. Yeah, no weapons. No. That's it. It's yeah, a it's metal box. It's a metal box. And uh, this truck was stunned on its uh, kamikaze run. <laughs> the death company, unfortunately, rolled snake eyes. Um, they're playing the hills of difficult terrain. Snake eyes. So uh, going into turn seven, because the game did continue, um, I, my smart money says that uh, that truck will be gone, which means Kino will have his capture and control objective again, which means... It's still a game if that rhino can somehow miraculously survive <laughs> yeah. two rounds of combat against Gaz, a snake rot, and Mad Dog Rot Snake. But I believe! <laughs> power of the machine spirit! Oh. So if it can do it, uh, then Kino can tie. Yeah. But uh, I somehow doubt that that's going to happen. <laughs> Table or tie. Table or tie. tie. <laughs> that's it. All right, we'll check in. <laughs> and the game <laughs> is over. Appropriately bloody. Oh, yeah. Death Company came over here, chopped the, the truck into half, and then Gaz over there. Wrecked it. No, it's Snick Snick Rot. Snickety, snickety Snick Rot. Not much left on the board. The final showdown is Kino has capture and control, and Nick got uh, kill points and seize ground with two objectives. Uh, good game, guys. Nick, any uh, closing thoughts? Uh, there was a turn where, oh, there's two turns. If his Terminator's done better, I would've been, I've been screwed. He uh, made all those uh, invulnerable saves. Invulnerable saves is pretty key, and um, I had to kill two guys. And he had killed two guys. Was bigger. He would've. Yeah, if that, if that unit here would've lived, it would've been a tie game. Yep. What about you, Kino? Unfortunately, the uh, the plot of the GNC volume runs all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, unfortunate. Damn you, Dante! <laughs> <laughs> Sanguinius, Sanguinius went down like a punk yeah. to Horus, and ever since we've been suffering. <laughs> yeah. Since he rolled a one in that yeah. one armor save. So it, oh, man. How's Astrath the Grim going to execute oh, these guys if he's dead? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they just go on a rampage. <laughs> yeah. There's, five, there's six guys left to go and kill this entire planet. <laughs> well, uh, lead uh, to the nearest uh, Imperial uh, Hive. Yeah. I do. Yeah. And they just go butcher. <laughs> Well, good game, guys, and uh, that's a Bay Area Open scenario, as you can see. Cha -ching! Hey, uh, as you can see, it uh, takes a little bit of getting used to, but when you do get used to it, right. it gives you a lot of options. You can always play through bad matchups, and um, we found that uh, it, it's a lot of fun. It's, it gives you a lot more uh, choices. You feel like you're in the game. Everyone does. Like, like, you know, there's a couple times where I'm like, oh, I'm beating Kino, and then he's like, no, he just he killed some grots. Oh, shit, something's happened. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're right back in it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Kino? That was your first time playing the scenario. I really like it. It's pretty cool.
I like how there's like multiple ways to win instead of just like one way to win. Yeah. Because you're like, oh no, might as well not play any game, any, any, again, you know, because yeah. there's nothing else. But two things are cool. Especially cool. kill points added to it. It's really yeah. awesome. Glad you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll do another one of these here as we get closer to the Bay Area Open.